Yo, what is up guys, it's Phantom here today with another video, and today we're talking about Anthem. Now, I recently got to play the demo that was available this weekend, and I want to get my thoughts on the game because a lot of bad flack has been going toward the game, and I don't like that. <laughs> I want to get my opinion and my two cents on it. So yeah, so Anthem, was it good, was it bad, or was it trash? To be honest, it was a pretty fun game, actually. There was a lot of interesting stuff and, you know, a lot of background information going for the game. And, you know, this is just a first impression because, again, it was a beta, essentially, in a demo. And I really didn't have any problems with the game. I did keep dying a lot, but, you know, I was a fucking noob. <laughs> but it was a really fun game, and it was a really great experience. So I'm going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good about the game. I'm going to start, no, I'm going to start with the bad because I don't want to leave a, like, sour taste in y'all mouth about the game. So, one of the bad is where the ga game takes place. Now I know that this is probably a later portion of the game because again they expect us to care about some of the characters immediately and it's like we don't really care about the missions so it's repetitive because we don't care about the characters. Because one of the missions is legit to go save someone and we don't know much about the characters so we don't really care as much. So that's one gripe I had. Another gripe I had is oh my god some of the connection. There were some game breaking errors like someone said that the um their version of the demo hard reset they playstation in the middle of them playing it which is crazy um that's like a major thing they didn't need to work on fixing there were some glitches in the game and not just that i'm not gonna lie my first time trying to get into the game i was signed out and had to sign back in so yeah the game does have issues with that but this is a beta so i feel like these bugs are going to be fixed I feel like that's the reason why they even made the beta was to actually see what these bugs were. Um, the good, the good about the game is, again, gameplay is very fun and intuitive, very unique. Um, it's very Iron Man-esque in a way. Like, you know those cheap-ass Iron Man games they made when the MCU was just starting? Now, imagine that, but with actually refined gameplay. Um, a lot of things that eat. That had to do with story built with EA, so <laughs> that's another bad. Um, another good is that it was easy jumping into a match after the bugs were all fixed. So, like in the second day when I streamed it, everything was a lot easier to deal with and a lot funner to play, and it made it an extremely well versed game. It's something that I enjoyed, and I really did like how they did that. Another thing that they did was missions were fun, but there was only three. And that was dope. Another thing is that if you actually start talking to people around the bar, you get more context on some of the quests you're going to be doing in the full game, which is something amazing. Um, what else? BioWare really did an amazing job on the environment and the graphics, and it's already looking buttery smooth. That's all I gotta say, it's looking fucking buttery smooth. And combat is actually fun. The one thing I don't like is how the controls play out. Like, with triangle as a um, melee attack, like, that's fucking weird, like, I get that's a small gripe for me. Another small gripe is that, um, it takes a while to kind of get good weapons in the beta, and I feel like that's not going to be a main thing for the, um, full game. Uh, now time to talk about some ugliness that I've heard. Now, I've heard that if you are an EA member and you play on PC, you'll be playing the game first. Now, I know what that's going to say, well, you didn't put in the effort, but the console players only get it on the 22nd, and that's pretty crazy because I'm like, okay, not fair. Now, we found out this is more of an EA thing than BioWare, because BioWare were trying to get everyone to play on the same day, but EA was, you no know, holding the game back anyway. Now, this comes to the terms of what I really want to get into, which is why, like, I don't understand why the internet and everything just wants something to fail. Now, if you want, like, first of all, I looked at a couple people's videos, and a lot of people are negative about this game, and I'm like, why? Now, why do you not want this game off the ground doing good? Because it's a fun-ass game. It reminds me of, a, like, actual pay fucking Warframe. It's a cool-ass Warframe game with an actual story. I mean, the Warframe does have a pretty dope story, but it reminds me of another Warframe. So I'm like, why do you guys really want this game to fail? And a lot of people are like, Oh, the game's trash, EA, it's over the EA, and I'm like, you can't use that excuse, that's a weak-ass excuse. 
and I know I'm using really harsh language, but it's a weak ass excuse to say just because a game is developed by EA is going to be trash or they're not going to be able to handle it. I want to see this game off the ground because, hell, people are that are supporting it and giving it somewhat good press actually say this is a fun ass game and it's a fun ass squad game for you to play with your friends. And that's dope. Like, you're, it's a friend's game. Like, it's, you have a squad of people and you go and play. Like, that's amazing to me. So, um, not much else to say on the game. The beta did really good. So, is the game good or bad? My final verdict can't happen until I play the full game. But from what I played, I enjoyed the game amazingly. It is a great game and definitely from the beta, I'm very excited for this game and I'm very hyped for it. I'm very hyped for the other characters we get to meet, because I wasn't too interested in the other ones, but this one I am very interested in. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like for more gaming videos, subscribe for more gaming videos, and comment on what game you want me to want to see me cover. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.